Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I felt like it's probably the best thing to do is to give an account overview view of this account. It beat T a week ago, and nothing's really changed other than DD and Santa levels. But I'll I'll talk to that. I'll talk about that um, when it when I get there. So I just want to go over pretty much what my account looked like when I beat T. So if anyone um, was wondering it was tough it was very tough to get this mount I didn't have very good um, spawns for a while and then when I got Dread Drake he pretty much it pretty much took like four attempts after that so I worked really hard I tried every combination I possibly could have and uh, so let's just Let's go through what I have. I have also, as you can see, I have 7.7 .7 million gold, 6.3 million uh, mana. They're all 25 except one, which is 18. That'll be very long in the upgrading process now. Um, I have four, I should have four, yeah, four level 25 bases and two level 23 hero bases. I finally have enough builders to start putting on magic towers. Sorry, my tower. So these will get up to tw 25, and then once they're done with 25, I'll start putting them on the towers too. This one will constantly level up this tower. These two will constantly level up this one. And these two free, once these two get free in about like a month, I'll put these on these. Unless the totem system works on builders which could be the next update could be a month from now um, the builders will be going on those too just to see but right now I'll be focusing on my towers just getting them up and uh, I think this one yeah it, you get an extra range on the just the first upgrade so that should be the priority next to get these one range up you know help the help in guild wars and stuff so that's the priority right now for that most of these are 25 24 sorry the gold vaults are 25 mana vaults 22 these I haven't even touched won't touch them town hall 25 yeah I haven't touched these yet it's been mostly focusing on hero bases gold vaults to get up to Channel 25, and now it's working on Magic Towers. So, done it with this. This is what it gets at 156 might. You pretty much have to get 4 million gold, 5 million gold. It's on the 17th day. I've already collected all my rewards. That's going to be very tough to get to 180,000 might. Um, I've already been thinking about how I'll do it. Since I have a ton of honor badges, I'll be able to. I'm thinking about taking some of these guys up to at least one, at least 140. Sorry, these guys right here. I'll we'll put them up to 140. Give me a few hundred might, and then I'll probably use shards and get all the dupes, duplicates up to at least two or three, out of ten. I think that will get me a couple thousand. Um. I'm trying to figure out how much exactly it will be, but it'll be a couple thousand. Um, once again, I'll show. I attempted AA2 it's in a video. Got rocked. But I beat T. I sweep T now with Santa. I have not beat L18 yet, but um, I'll keep trying. I do farm, or at least try L14 all the time to get through at least some honor badges but I do attempt L18 from time to time because if I do beat it it's a pretty big accomplishment um, Storm Mesa 4 piece of cake this is what I've been mostly focusing on getting my Lost Realm up to 22 I've been using all my stamina cards as much as I possibly can during the night I have a bunch. I have too many to count. I should be using them 
and I've been trying to push myself to 22 so I can start upgrading these crystal mines to 22 which will give me more blue crystals which then I can start upgrading heroes and now let's get to so this is the base I beat T in T on I had Jed Drake up here Pumpkin Duke in the middle here Druid here um, which was end up being very crucial because he didn't once I switched the hero bases to like a lower hero base he didn't jump over and he stood behind the walls here and it was it was perfect once that happened all my I got enough heals for my druid um, Vlad was here he needed to be here he needed to tank all this in the bottom my warlock I'm telling you warlock is very good especially you don't have any of some of these other crazy heroes um, I like warlock Cupid here and with the level 25 base he popped out right here and died so that sucks but let's get back into let's see here let's see the artifacts they're all pretty much level 5 can't do this so hence why I'm trying to level up my Santa to evolve him which we'll get to that in a second um so I can have a three flame that everything I try to do <coughs> for three six I can't figure it out I don't know um it's one of those things where I just don't get enough luck and I just want 50 percent just enough to get one star and to pass it um sometimes my Santa boom I, I'm thinking that once my Santa Boom gets evolved and I can add that crit artifact on it, um, it'll help immensely with my attempts. Right now when he procs, sometimes he doesn't even kill anything. and It, it bugs the crap out of me because it probably could have been a couple percentage points and a couple attempts I could have actually won because of that. But it's slowly getting there, so I'm stuck on 3.5. I mean, sorry, 3.6. I sweep 210. Sorry, this is the one I sweep. Gives me about 75 shards and about 53,000 um, experience. It's okay for now, but that's what I've been doing sweeping for Santa. So all my heroes have not changed. And the only two people that have gotten up to 180 and 10 stars, Santa and Dread Drake. Dread Drake was 162 when I beat T. And he was like 143, I think. But I didn't use Santa for T. So, let's just go through my, only my new unique hero. So I only go up to Snowzilla. So, since that's all I have. Um, I do have a candy can and a death knight in the warehouse. But, I just don't have enough time to work on those two right now. When I'm, these two are so much more valuable to me than the other two. Even though, I do want to play with Death Knight and Candy Cane, but I don't think I'm going to get any good uh, crest or sorry talents for them anyway. So it could be pretty pretty bad. So let's just go through this. Ten of ten, two of ten, eight. Bulwark, I mean sorry, War God. Still can't get anything for this guy. I've rolled like crazy. Those quest refresh boards, I get them all the time. Don't get anything from it. Hundred. I put some sprints on him. And he's got lightning rock. I love the guy flying through. My pumpkin duke. It's got the bliss scroll. He's a hundred. Inscribe. He's got revive. He's ten of ten. He's got three of five. Revitalize. Druid. Not bad. As you can see, they're they're all. He's a nine star. He's getting close to ten star. Double evolve. Single evolve. Single evolve. They're all single evolved up to Siren, and then I have some 10 star heroes. Druid 8 of 10, 3 of 8 Berserk, eh, not bad. He's 100 and he has slowdown, which I think I'm getting really close to the 4 slowdown. I just haven't checked fully. Uh, Victor's emblem, he's level 5. Put him on that. Let's see. My fave. Warlock, put the crit one on. Probably should put something else on him, but 
Right now, what I've seen him crit a couple times on uh, some heroes, and it's done some damage. He's only 96, and I put Bulwark on him. Usually I have War God, but right now War God's on um, Dread Drake. Um, he's only 96. I want to get him up, because every time he progs and hits people, he does damage. And that extra damage is so huge in Guild Wars. Um, he's 9 10. Um, I really wanted to get him up to 10 10, but I rolled a Dread Drake and Santa, so that put that put him on the back burner. Cupid. Good old Cupid. He's 10 10, 3 of 5 revite. He's 96 2. Oh, that hurts. I wish he was 100 2, but. Once you start getting up to these levels, like 96, 97, they get so much blue crystals, and it's just so hard to get. He's got lightning rock, too. Got to move him around. Want him all the time proking. So faster you can get to places to start hitting, the better for me. Reaper. He's now a backup hero. He was starting, but now he's backup. Put a crit on him. Change it up. I put a whole bunch of stuff on him. But right now he's on crit. Crest, he's only 92. This is just a placeholder. I have to switch around crests when I do certain things, so just a placeholder. And he's got life dream. Only a 3 of 5, 8 of 10, Aries. Placeholder. Just have a placeholder on him. Um, I do switch around crests, so right now I'll just placeholder. I put this artifact on him I don't even know why I want I know when I put it on him he was trying for molt attempts so I was hoping that he would be on the molt and he just starts silencing the molt and then proc to get the other molt but oh, he died all the time and he just pissed me off so I just haven't switched him out to something else but that's what he sits on right now my thunder god that I got up for insane dungeons, which I can't tell is helping or not helping. I think I'm going to need Santa, but he's got the crit on it. He's got 83 level 83. Really low. It should be higher. It probably That would probably help a lot for insane dungeons, but placeholder for scatter. Um, yeah, that's not as... I put War God on him when I use him. Um, but I need placeholders for these, so might as well put it on him. And he's 7 of 10, 3 of 8 Berserk. Immortep, 7 of 10, 3 of 8 Revive. He's got 95 skill. I used him a lot for HPMT attempts. And if he could just stay alive, he was just doing he was doing amazing damage. And I got really close with Immortep instead of Dread Drake. Um really good artifact for him. He would crit all the time. Wipe waves out. It was like a mini Vlad. Siren. Pfft. I don't use her anymore. It was more just to evolve her because I said I would evolve her. 90, 7 of 10, 3 of 8 scatter. Oryx Bane, which I thought would be very helpful for T, actually end up being a waste of resources. You'll see in a second. Um, he's 7 of 10, 5 of 8, 10 tenacity, and by wasted resources, I mean, I try to get him to, 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 level, to level, blah, 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 level 200, then I was going to evolve him, but then I changed course, and I put him to level 100 for the extra damage, for the extra heals, which I'm kind of regretting, because that's it was like, that was like 5 million, he went from 95 to 100, it was probably like five point something million that I used blue crystals on him which I could have spread out to like warlock and cupid but he, I still use him a whole bunch so it's not like I'm not utilizing him I use him all the time so when I say wasted I mean like it could have he this could have happened later on instead of now and I haven't evolved him yet because my goal was to get him to 200 and uh evolve him and take the books, but I don't even use him to level up anymore. He's sitting in the back burner right now. Champion. I don't know if I'm going to evolve him just yet, but I will. Um, might as well get most of these guys evolved since I have so much fame. Um, 510, 405, Revive, born with that. 
haven't changed it. Um, yeah, I haven't even given him any inscription. Like 81. I always put I put him one above 80, just because he's a, one of the unique heroes. I haven't evolved him yet. Santa, this is what I'm talking about. So he's at 90. And the plan is to evolve him. But this is why. He has 3 of 5 alignment. Enlightenment. Enlightenment. And he used to have 1 of 10 war god. I'm mean 1 of 5 or 1 of 8 war god. And I rolled this on a quest refresh. And I put it on Santa. Because I know I have a backup Santa for him. So I can evolve him with no shards. With that, I've been sweeping T and sweeping Insane Dungeon 2. 10. To get him up to 180. And it went really fast. Way faster than Dread Drake. And um, so he'll. I have a little plan for this. And I think after my fun little plan, I'll evolve him and then start attempting 3 6 again with an evolved Santa. But um, I have a little plan for this enlightenment. Or enlighten. Sorry, enlighten with this Santa. So. It should come soon. I've been planning it, and I knew I was going to do this when I beat T, so this just was a bonus. I was going to do it with the lad, but um, having Dread Drake and Santa now was now just a super bonus, and this is just a bonus plus plus. And Dread Drake, which helped me beat T. Three of eight ball work. I can't evolve him, but he's only 180. I'll wait until I get some books from Santa before I do it. Put my war god on him right now. No artifact. Do I should I even go through these? Alright. I got my paladin 6 of 10. He's eaten a lot of paladins. That's why he's 6 of 10. Um, every time I get a paladin, boom, he eats it. Crest, nothing. Nothing special. Succubus, nothing special. 5 of 10. Ninja, 5 of 10. 4 of 8, Deadly Strike. 81. And Snowzilla. Nothing, just holding a crest. Ooh, but I didn't show what he was. I think he's 5 of 10. I think all my unique heroes are 5 of 10. Where are you at, buddy? There you are. Yeah, 5 of 10. 2 of 8, Revive. Or, sorry, Revive. So pretty much, the team that beat was Vlad, Pumpkin Duke, Druid, Warlock, Cupid, and a 162 Dread Drake, which is huge. So as you can tell, I mean, Santa was 9 of 10, Dread Drake's 9 of 10. He used a lot of shards to get those up guys up. So the key is to evolve him, evolve them both for everything. Just everything. Evolve, evolve, evolve. Um, what else was I going to show? The warehouse, Candy Cane, Death Knight, Backup Santa. I will open these eventually, but I gotta work on my Santa and Death Knight first before I start focusing on these guys. Um, yeah, so I just wanna. Oh, and people tell me I should start forging my crappier crests, and I'll do that. So I'm gonna start saving, I'll do a weekly clean. And I'll start forging the crappier crests in hope for section 4 crests, like the slot 4s. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works. And I'm just showing, just to give it an account over you, just get everything in the, the video. And, um, yep, I think I will... I'll first show you what I... I mean, this is what it's going to happen. Let's see here. I have some T attempts. now. I'm not going to do those. Um, I'm going to use four attempts on L18 after I pretty much do what I do with Santa now. I just sweep um, 210. Ooh, look at that. 75's in a row. Could have been a five or six in a row. Yeah, so... My goal is to get him up as high as possible 
and then evolve him and then evolve Dead Drake, Dread Drake and just get these both evolved. Once they both get evolved, it's just going to be oh, so beautiful. So so beautiful. Dread Drake all right now is already amazing. I can't imagine him at evolve or an Evo 1. And with Santa Evo 1 with the artifacts, oh my god. Oof, can't wait. That should have pushed him close to one. Yeah. All right. Let's. So I want to do some L18. Get that on. Let's see here. I think I got to put Santa. This is gonna have to be Drake. I think. I think I'm gonna put Santa right there. I need healer, so I gotta put Druid right here. Vlad's always in the bottom. Always in the bottom. That's the key. Gotta get my Pumpkin Duke in here. And to get the best attempts possible for an L18 victory, let's get some Garrisons in. I really want to beat L18. Um, to me, that's it's very hard. The jump, even from 15 to 16 was big, 16 to 17 is big, but 17 to 18 is just, they're huge, they're, they're monsters, and they take out my team quite often really fast. So it's pretty important for me to get that one lucky good spawn to get this victory. Ooh. I don't know if that's going to be good. Trentar usually kicks my ass big time. I don't know if you can see, but he pretty much just dominated my Pumpkin Duke real fast. Um, they're pretty powerful. I don't know how I can explain it, but look at that. Once they start proccing and getting these guys revived, it's like no chance. Even my Vlad doing is proccing all the time. It's just not doing... It's... Can't kill those guys. Trust me, I've done L18 a bunch of times. It just... They're so powerful at this age, this this stage. Oh, I mean, look at that. Once One proc. When they all just start proccing, it's over. It's brutal how powerful they are. 255. Level 255. Harvey Queen. You almost got a no chance on Harvey Queen. Oh, look at that. Couple procs, gone. Whole base. Gone. I don't know how you're supposed to beat Harvey Queen. Last attempt. Death Knight. This could be looking good. It'd be good if, if they can get all the way over to the other side right now. Come on. I need to get him onto the other side right now. Nope. My druid went down. It's over. If I didn't have any heals, I cannot survive. Jeez. Absolute murder. Oof. Alright, guys. Um, thanks for watching. It's a nice little count overview. Um... I'm glad I finally did it. Um, I was going to do it when I beat T and uh, just got other things going on. So the t I showed you what my team was to beat T, t so I'm pretty happy. And uh, thanks for watching, and keep, keep on pushing, guys. The goal is to get... I know most of you guys are at Insane 410 and beat T and are pushing. Just keep pushing. You gotta grind this out. Grind the highest level dungeon you can. Attempt it your next highest HBM every other day. Just keep pushing yourself. You'll get there. Um, Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace!